Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing and as always, mwah, 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 I love you guys. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I was thinking about, you know, getting to know people and everything, trying to make my presence known here on YouTube, so I thought I would share my story with you. Um, I mean, Sour Patch Kids, they're so good. They're like, mmm. Oh, sour. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, um, I was born in Ormond Beach, Florida. Um, my birthday is January seventh, nineteen ninety. I'm currently married to a man named Stephen. I have two children. I have a two-year-old and an eight-month-old, a girl and a boy. I have a father who has multiple sclerosis. I help take care of him. He lives with us now, so that's really hard on me. Um, the reason I came to YouTube is uh, I was dealing with depression and anxiety issues. My outlet is to make videos, anything that can take my mind off of the problems around me. I just, I love, so pretty much I enjoy myself talking to you guys. I feel like I have friends when really in real life, I don't have any real friends. My husband is my best friend. My kids are my best friend. But other than that, I don't have like a girlfriend or anybody I can really turn to, to, to talk to, to, you know, to let them know if I'm having a bad day or they try to, you know, let me know it's all right or relate to me or whatever the case may be. So I feel like I have, uh, I belong pretty much on YouTube. Like I have a spot here, you know, just like everybody does on this, in this earth. So what am I at? on this earth, duh, sorry. I'm like tongue twisted. Sometimes I like, I go off on other tangents and I like think in my mind about something. So then when I try to talk about the one thing that I was originally thinking about, I totally forget about it. So please excuse that. <laughs> I, um, like I was saying, I was dealing with anxiety and depression. I still am. Um, I, it makes me feel good to, to talk to people, to show people what I know how to do, to share with people the things that I like to do. So that actually makes me very happy that all of you have become a part of me. Um, now moving on to another subject. Uh, I, when I was younger, in middle school, in sixth grade, I was bullied. Um, I seen, I seen somebody's YouTube page earlier, and they're actually kind of more famous, but the, all the comments on her page I seen were, <laughs> they were just negative comments. Horrible heartbreaking, mean things, like how can someone, and some of these people were very young, it, like still in middle school and high school and stuff, and they're sitting here hatefully bashing somebody, talking to somebody. Since when did it become okay for you to just make a decision and make somebody, tr or at least try and make somebody feel like crap about themselves because it makes you feel better? I don't understand that. I, the way I see it is, is if, if you, if you feel a certain way about somebody, whether you like them or dislike them, you make that presence known to them personally. You don't go out of your way to hurt these, pe hurt these people's feelings. You don't go out of your way to make, make it known that you feel this way about somebody so other people can sit and, you know, talk bad about somebody. I was bullied in sixth grade. Uh, nonetheless, by my ex-best friend, who was my best friend all throughout elementary school. Oddly enough, I was bullied to the point where I was sick to my stomach and didn't want to be in school ever. I was bullied to the point where I would have my older sister come up to the school after school to pick me up because I feel like... 
because I felt like I was going to get hurt. Somebody was going to hurt me. Somebody was going to take my life because some of the things that these kids are saying, and even at my age, I'm 24 now, so I was in middle school probably 11 years ago. And even at that time, some of the things being said were so horrible. And to think that the person that was saying them used to be my best friend. And then after this whole incident, she became my friend again. But I, after that, I seen right through her. So I was like, no, why? I can't trust you, basically. But anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. I see people hurtfully, you know, bash and shame people all the time. It's like, can't you just say a loving word of kindness? Um, can't you just encourage somebody to do better? Um, I see all these big YouTubers, they get real big and big headed and, oh, I can't reply to you because I've got, you know, thousands of messages, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, here's the thing. They take time out of their day to to treat you right, to show you respect, and pretty much to help you make money. That's basically what it is. Um, but, whatever. I just, I feel like, you know, why can't everybody be, you know, sweet, or kind-hearted? Um, give somebody a hand, help somebody out. I have taken care of my father since I was 15 years old. I, we never had much. I always had to have a job to help take care of him. Up until I was like 18, then he was able to kind of live by himself and with assistance he was able to take care of things. But um, I've always had it in my heart to make sure that you know, that I can do what I can to help somebody, even if I don't have much, because I don't have much. Um, like if, if my, one of my friends were hungry and I had one cheeseburger, I'd split that with them and I would allow myself to starve to help somebody out. I just, I don't understand people and all the hateful things that are going on in today's world why people have to be mean to people. It's just, it's heartbreaking. It is. Because with bullying and these kids killing themselves and these kids fearing for their lives and fearing going to school and getting an education and living a beautiful life, it's just absurd. It's absurd. And I think it's sad that we don't have more people like Trisha Paytas or um, Bunny Meyer, or Jacqueline Hill, or, or, you know, Gigi, anybody like that standing up for these causes, you know, and it seems like anymore going on YouTube, it seems like all the, you know, people are just about themselves, and I hate to say it, yeah, you're making videos to help other people out, but you're also making videos because you either enjoy to do it, or because you're making profit off of it. That's what it seems like. I'm not saying that's everybody, so please, you know, don't quote me on that. But, um, why can't, why can't we all just be a part of the big picture and help everybody out and love everybody? I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I've taken care of my father all of my life. Um, he now lives with us again because of my my family, I, my side of the family, not my husband's side, are just, they're questionable. I've been through so many things in my life. I feel like I, you guys do not have the time. Hey, if you do, in the comments down below, let me know. Why not? I can tell you more about my life. Um... I've been through so many things, scary things, happy things, sad things. I'm sure everybody has, but um, I feel like that pretty much I, I don't know. I love you guys. You guys make me happy. You help me through my day. You do, and I love my children. I love my husband. I love my family. I just, having, you know, having nobody to talk to 
and nobody to turn to. It just is overwhelming. And actually, I've noticed since I started making YouTube videos that um, my mood has changed, my mind frame, and everything to do with it. <sighs> That was good. <laughs> I love water. Um, oh, I don't know. I just get so touchy. <laughs> um, moving on to another subject. Um, I had this weird encounter the other day. I was... I live in this place called The Trails in Ormond. And it's like a big giant subdivision with a bunch of... It's like... It's almost like they're woods with a bunch of houses in it. And nice roads, nice shopping plazas, everything. And I was walking down the road. And I, like, had this, like, feeling. I don't know what it was. I felt this before. Like, I used to go to graveyards and um, walk around them with my friends like on Halloween and stuff and you know do just try to be mischievous mischievous young kids acting you know acting crazy um while my friends were smoking cigarettes and you know doing drinking beers and doing whatever else you did when you're in high school we've all been there believe me um um Anyways, I've got this film before. It was almost like somebody was watching me. And I, I shit you not, when I was like 11 years old, I got this bike. And I was riding it home and it was like 8 o'clock at night. And I felt like some somebody was like behind me. So I felt the need to start pedaling and pedaling and pedaling. And I just out of nowhere started screaming because I was so scared for my life. It's almost like, I don't know, um... I wake up with night terrors sometimes like I'll wake up and I'll look behind me and I'll see like a, a man standing there or something in it uh, or like I'll see like um like I'll have a dream but it's not a dream like I'll just wake up and my heart's pounding and like I was scared and I'll have to like grab onto my husband so I don't know what that is but I feel like I kind of I don't know I feel like I'm in touch with maybe a spiritual world. I know that probably sounds crazy. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I believe in stuff like that. I believe that how can you live a long, beautiful life and die and end up nowhere? It just doesn't make sense to me. But I was walking through in the dark the other night and I felt like this. It's almost like a presence. But I'd, I just remember feeling this overwhelming feeling of like joy. Like you know how you feel on Christmas when your parents drive you over to your grandparents house and you walk in the front door and all you do, all you smell is a Christmas tree and like pumpkin pie and turkey cooking in the oven and you see your grandparents and they kiss you on the forehead and they love you and all that you know mushy gushy stuff it was it was like that and um my grandmother passed away about five years ago and um I just remember having a great relationship with her when she was dying um when she was dying she ended up having kidney problems or kidney or liver problems that made her her sight go like she she could see but she was like blurry so it was like you weren't really there or not she wasn't completely blind but she couldn't see so she heard voices and that's how she knew people were and um she, the last day that she was alive everybody you know my family called me over and said come see her it was when I was like 16 my family called me over and said um come see your grandmother um, you know, she's about to pass and blase, blase, blase. So, um, I went over there and I guess for the past few days, she didn't know who anybody was. She was almost like she had acute dementia right before, you know, kicking the bucket. Ugh, God, that sounds so bad. 
but I just, I get weird about death, I feel like, like, I don't like going to funerals or anything like that because it just makes me feel very, you know, makes me feel kind of sick in the pit of my stomach because it's sad, it's like a sad feeling, but um, as soon as I walked in the door um, and I said, hi, Grandma, Grandma goes, I remember it like it was yesterday, she goes, Mindy, come here, baby, and I came over and she held my hand and kissed my hand and I gave her a kiss on the forehead and I let her know everything was going to be okay and that, you know, she can, you know, she can go and be comfortable now and not in any more pain and everything. So, um, I just remember for about, and she died, she died the next morning. So, um, I just remember for about, I don't know, like. A week after that, I was having these dreams where I was spending time with her and my grandfather, who had already passed away. Um, I was spending time with her and him in like the it was like the old days, like in the fifties, and everybody was in these little teeny bopper skirts and um, or sorry, poodle skirts and the, like greaser style clothing and stuff like that, and. Um, my grandma talking to me about um just random things that happened in my life like um like how i'm so accident prone health if you guys want to hear about that you know in the comments down below let me know please because i'd love to do a video on that but that's a whole nother story of my life of accidents pretty much like bad accidents so but i just remember feeling the same feeling um, every night when I woke up after having those dreams, like this overwhelming feeling of joy. So it was almost like when I was walking the other day that my grandmother was with me and it was, it was beautiful. It, it reminded me of like, it, it reminded me of all the nostalgic things that I missed, like the smell of firewood in the air in the winter. Does anybody does anybody feel the same about that? I, I love that. I love it. Um, like when it's real cold outside and you're all bundled up and then you smell burning firewood, like you're in the mountains or something. We used to vacation all the time. So that's why I think of the mountains. But all I know is please, please, please guys live and let live. And I don't say that like to be Oh, I'm this hippie, flower power, you know, whatever person. That's not how it is. I believe that everybody is different in their own way. And everybody deserves a chance. So please, please find it in your heart to be kind. And if you can't, keep your mouth shut. I don't know. I just thought I'd try a little vlogging today. So you guys let me know how you feel. Let me know if you want to see another video about my accident prone life. Like it's crazy how many accidents I've been in. Like bad accidents. Not just car accidents but like crazy stuff all of my life and it always happened every four years. When I was four. Again when I was eight. Again when I was like uh, uh, 12 again when I was 16 or I'm sorry it was 18 so 12 and then 18 but it was it's very weird very weird um, the sequence of events that happened so let me know down below if you guys want to hear more about that or if there's any other things you want to hear about from my life like any other um, I used to go on like um, like go see like try to conjure up ghosts and stuff like that so um just let me know how you feel about that and i will do whatever you want so and if you haven't already uh subscribe to my channel please um yeah so you guys have a wonderful day